This video will tell the story of Kim K.C. Campbell, a fighter pilot, combat veteran, and retired Air Force colonel. Kim served in the Air Force for 24 years and flew 1,800 hours in her A-10 Warthog, including more than 100 combat missions in Iraq and Afghanistan. Kim had a remarkable career as a fighter pilot, rising through the ranks to become a respected senior military leader. This is what earned her the nickname K.C., which is short for Killer Chick. The story of retired United States Air Force pilot Kim Campbell showcases the dedication, bravery, and sacrifice of the men and women who serve in the military. Despite facing challenges and obstacles, Campbell was able to overcome them and achieve her dream of becoming a pilot. She served her country with distinction and honor, and her legacy will live on as a reminder of the sacrifices made by those who have served in the armed forces. We are forever in debt to her and all the brave service members who have put their lives on the line to protect our freedom and way of life. To understand all this, we will have to go back to where the story began. Growing up in a military family, Campbell developed a passion for flying at an early age and knew that she wanted to become a pilot. Her journey to becoming an A-10 Warthog pilot really took off in 1986 when the nine-year-old Kim watched the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster on television. Despite the tragedy, it inspired her to pursue a career in aviation. Four years later, at the age of 13, Campbell decided to join the Civil Air Patrol as a cadet. Another four years later, Campbell made her first solo flight in a civilian aircraft over San Jose at 17 years old. In 1997, Campbell received her education from the prestigious United States Air Force Academy, where she excelled in her studies and began to prepare for a career in the military as the cadet wing commander. Campbell underwent the rigorous selection process and was accepted into the Air Force's pilot training program. She began her training at the officer training school, where she received an introduction to the military way of life and learned the basics of leadership and management. After completing OTS, she moved on to the undergraduate pilot training, also known as UPT program, where she received her formal flight training. The UPT program is considered to be one of the most challenging and rigorous training programs in the military. Campbell underwent a demanding curriculum that included both classroom instruction and flight training. Her training included both solo and formation flying navigation. She also underwent survival, evasion, resistance, and escape, also known as Siri training, which taught her how to survive in extreme environments and evade capture if she were to be shot down behind enemy lines. Her graduation scores and the needs of the USAF determined that she would fly the A-10. Upon graduation, Campbell began her training as a fighter pilot, quickly proving herself to be a skilled and dedicated aviator. She went on to fly a variety of aircrafts like F-16, F-22, and F-35, becoming proficient in air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat operations. As a young officer, Campbell had the opportunity to fly with and learn from some of the most experienced pilots in the military. She used those lessons and experiences to hone her skills and become an expert in her field. Campbell had a distinguished career as a fighter pilot, with a particular focus on her participation in various military operations. Her first mission in the A-10 was over Baghdad during Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003. As part of the Coalition Air Campaign, Campbell flew her F-16 Fighter Falcon aircraft on combat missions over Baghdad. She conducted air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat operations in support of Coalition ground forces. She successfully completed multiple missions, providing air cover for ground troops and striking key targets to disrupt the enemy's ability to operate. One of Campbell's most notable accomplishments during her deployment to Baghdad was her role in the successful strike on a high-value target, a senior leader of the enemy forces. The strike was critical to the coalition's efforts to degrade the enemy's ability to operate, and Campbell's skill and precision as a pilot played a key role in its success. Kim was deployed in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. She and her flight lead were flying over downtown Baghdad during a close air support mission when they received a call from the Ground Forward Air Controller, FAC, who turned out to be a member of the captain's squadron, saying they were taking fire and needed immediate assistance. The two-ship formation of A-10s then made several passes over the enemy location, employing 30mm bullets and high-explosive rockets to protect the ground troops. After her last rocket pass, the captain's aircraft was hit by enemy fire and rolled violently to the left. 
She was able to react quickly by putting the jet into manual reversion, which is a system of cranks and cables that allow the pilot to fly the aircraft under mechanical control. With the help of her flight lead, she was able to safely land the jet back at base and avoid ejecting over Baghdad. Despite the damage to the aircraft, she was able to safely land it and received praise from her colleagues for her quick thinking and excellent piloting skills. During this mission, her aircraft suffered extensive damage from anti-aircraft artillery and she was able to safely land it despite this. For this action in aerial combat, Campbell was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross. In 2006, Kim Campbell was promoted to the rank of Major. She was later commander of the 612th Theater Operations Group, Davis Monthan Air Force Base, from July 2016 to June 2018. In addition to her deployments to Baghdad, Campbell also participated in other operations around the world, including Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan. During her deployments, Campbell demonstrated exceptional courage and skill in the face of enemy fire. Getting deployed to various locations around the world, Campbell participated in a number of combat operations and training exercises. She quickly rose through the ranks, becoming a respected leader among her peers and a valuable asset to the military. Campbell received multiple awards and decorations for her service and dedication, including the Distinguished Flying Cross and the Bronze Star. Campbell's hard work and dedication to her craft earned her the respect and admiration of her fellow pilots and superiors. She was known for her leadership skills, tactical expertise, and outstanding service record. Her ability to lead, mentor, and inspire her team made her respected by all. Having served in the Air Force for over 24 years as a fighter pilot and senior military leader, Kim decided to retire from the military. She had a long and illustrious career during which she made significant contributions to the Air Force and her country. Upon her retirement, Campbell decided to continue serving her country in a different capacity. She used her expertise and experience to work as a consultant for defense contractors, providing valuable guidance and support to the military. She also took on a role as a mentor to young pilots, sharing her knowledge and experience with the next generation of aviators. Campbell also used her post-military career to give back to her community. She became an advocate for veterans' rights, working to improve the lives of those who have served in the military. She also devoted time to charitable causes, using her platform to raise awareness and funds for organizations that support veterans and their families. Campbell continues to be active in the veteran community and is considered as a role model for many. Her post-military career has been just as impactful as her military career, and she continues to be a respected leader and mentor.